Alright, this is a short video on how to make a DIY sliding glass aquarium lid to replace this kind of hinge lid, which is basically what you have for glass tops out there. You have the hinge. The hinge usually lasts quite a while, and then you have the black part, plastic on the back, that you cut notches into, and the little lid. So this eventually wears out. The hinge will fail. Eventually, it depends. It takes a while. Those are six years old or so. They've held up pretty well. I've had a lot fail sooner than that. What I like to build, though, is this. This is a glass sliding lid. It simplifies things. There's nothing to wear out. This one was cut a little poorly, but eventually it'll work. It's brand new, too, so as they work there's some help them and they slide better and way to show that is you want an overlap here the back glass and this front glass and then these two side trims are panel molding and you have this back trim there's nothing in the tank at the moment that is also panel molding this one has been colored black with a sharpie it's usually what I do with all of them you just color what you see that's visible. It'll help it blend in a lot better. And then I just cut notches in the back of this because all I ever really run are power cords or airline tubes. Occasionally a canister filter. If it comes to that you can cut notches. You can do a little diagonal cut on each corner of the back glass. If you want it to be really close to the back for your tubes. So the best places to go, any home improvement store will have everything you need. You can either get um, 1 16th inch glass or um, 1 8th inch glass. 1 8th inch is the typical aquarium glass. You can get by just fine with the 1 16th inch on like 10 gallon tanks, especially if you're running them um, the short way like this. Once you go over 24 inches or so, you're going to want to go with the 1 8th inch. This is an, these are two different um, pieces of glass. This is the one eighth. This is the one sixteenth. And this is a three foot tank. You have a little bit of flex you push on this, but it stays pretty rigid. Whereas the one sixteenth, it flexes a lot. It bounces. It's not ideal for longer tanks. You get by like these ones down here are one sixteenth, and I mean it's fine. It's when you get the long skinny lengths, it just doesn't work very well and you're going to want to go with the thicker glass. It'll only really save you a few bucks either way, whichever one you go with. This is an older one set up and these are very customizable so I mean however you have a tank orientated these work just fine. You can put handles on them. I personally just don't. I mean a lot of times I just leave them open a little bit like that and throw food in there for what's ever in there. You generally want to get condensation built up in here. It'll help it slide a lot better. This one needs to be cleaned. Makes wonderful noises. And when you... Here. These trim pieces... This is panel molding. It's So the back piece of glass sits in this molding. In that groove down there. And then the top one just slides along it. And then it has this little lip here sticks up out of the sides and you definitely want to leave that because it's what the lights will sit on. If you're not using lights you can cut it off, you can just color it black and not really notice it. Like this one over here is colored black and it supports the lights just a little tiny bit off and it gives just enough clearance for the glass to move under and make beautiful noises again. So yes, and then here's, these only come in 8 foot sections. You can get them from any home improvement store. There's panel molding. They come in a different, couple different colors, usually white, taupey, brown colors. Never black, I've found. And this is what I use for the back trim. Usually these are all right next to each other, so you can just go through and look. They have a couple different sizes of them. And they last for a lot of different tanks. And yeah, that is how you make those. And best of luck.